Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Chris, arch-usa.com. As always, um, I'm trying to give you guys some good information, things that will help the culture, but also educate as well. And yesterday, I had the pleasure of meeting a brother by the name of Jaron Thornhill. And this is Jaron's LinkedIn. I'm going to put his LinkedIn um, bio right here in the description so you guys can go down here, click on it if you're on LinkedIn, and you can tap in with Jaron one of the most amazing young brothers in the sneaker industry that I know, and he's not in the industry. He made a conscious decision to become a factor in his hometown of, well, it's not his hometown, he's from St. Louis, but he's in Kansas City. And he decided that he just kind of got fed up with uh, the young brothers that were in Kansas City who were uh, facing the gangs and the um, the violence and stuff like that. And Jaron created a store and it's a consignment shop. And the name of the consignment shop is One Pair KC. The store is built with a team of young guys where Jaron was like, you know what? I'm going to help these guys start a business because if I can give them something to do They'll get out of the streets, they'll stop messing up, and they will focus on this business, and maybe, just maybe, this business can elevate them in life and give them a different direction. It will teach them responsibility, it'll teach them entrepreneurship, it'll teach them, uh, and, and it's rooted in the culture that we all love. And as you see, all of these young men are sitting here, they're rocking some nice sneakers, they got 11s, they got 1s, there's a couple of Yeezys there, but their store, in Kansas City is going to begin launching an online platform. So yesterday he drove down, he was like, Chris, I need some help, I need to get some inventory. And I was like, you know what, I'll pull together, I'll, how much do you have to spend? I'll pull together some inventory for you and give you some stuff, man. And I gave him a really good deal on, I did 22 on this order, and then I did another nine for him. So he drove down and picked up about 30 pair of sneakers he barely, I mean, if the average on those shoes may have been um, $90 a pair, but that's not, it wasn't a money-making thing for me. It was the idea that these young brothers are using sneakers to empower the community and to, he's using them to reach back. And man, I respect that so much. And it's it's one of those things where, the sneaker community has kind of fallen backwards, man. It's all hype and people that are just trying to use each other to get to sneakers and get the stuff and try to make the money and all of that. And there's no real energy of positivity behind it. It's simply, I got the hot stuff. You don't look at me flex. That's not what Jaren's doing. What he's doing, man, is amazing. So the shop is not up yet they're working on it and they're building it and i really hate to do this video so early but what i'm hoping that if you're watching this bookmark it you know see if you can catch up with these guys on instagram let me see if the instagram loads up yeah yeah the instagram is up so you can see what they're working on and what they got going i'm not logged in this is the truck he drove down in and he carries all of these dudes around in the truck and he picks up sneakers and then they bring them back to Kansas City. And these guys have a really nice thing set up. But th what I'm really trying to establish is that sneakers have always been about community. Always been about community. It's about what we can do for each other. And the fact that the sneakers are there is just a, a bonus of uh, a status of cool. But it's just a bonus for us to be able to share in the stories behind those kicks Jaron has given these young brothers an opportunity to build a business, a real viable business. Um, he buys used sneakers, he buys um, in bulk, he buys as much as he can so that those guys can have something to sell and to bring people to. And if you have a really strong network and a, thrill, a strong system like that, I commend you for building community in the sneaker industry. And um, those of you who are watching this who are um, who know the website and you go to the website, if you can work with Jaron and the crew at One Pair KC, they pay for their stuff. They're not asking you to give them a handout. They pay for it. So please sit down, reach out to Jaron, hit up his Instagram, hit up the doggone LinkedIn page, 
hit up all of that, man, and show some love to one pair of KCs. Doing it the right way, man. And I love that. I love it. And I wish I could say more, and I won't, and I won't keep gushing and running on. But it's a shoe store designed, created, and operated by the kids. How dope is that? Salute you, Jaren. Very good job you're doing, man. And um, you guys need me, you got me. And whenever you need a bunch of sneakers, just holler at me, man, and I'll get you a bunch of sneakers. If you're out there and you're doing something comparable, reach out to me. I'll help with that, too. Um, I'll give you good deals. Just holler at me, man, because I want to build people up. Let's lift. Sneakers are, you know, yeah, they're dope, but at the end of the day, man, if we can give back and give these kids something to strive for, that's what it's all about. That's it. One Pair KC. Shout out Jaron Thornhill and the fellas at One Pair. Salute again. Peace.